Good morning guys, my own Buntag. So, I figured I'd come on and give you guys a little update on our home here on Spag Farms. Uh, kind of why we haven't posted videos uh, a little more often. I actually had a little accident uh, a couple of days back. Nothing serious, but uh, it kind of put a dent in our outings and excursions here in Andabahal. Um, not too bad, actually. Um, I'm just resting at home now. I can't really walk too much. Uh, if you're not squirmish, guys, I'll show you it right now. Viewer discretion is advised. Uh, not the worst, but... Ay, ay, ay. So, <laughs> hope you weren't eating, enjoying your breakfast watching this. I'm sorry, but uh, I had a little motorcycle accident the other day and now it's the cause of the uh, exhaust manifold uh, when I fell the bike landed on me and it was kind of I have a heavy bike a couple of hundred kilos that bike and um, it landed on me and it was kind of hard to remove so the exhaust was burning my leg that was the worst that would happen though I had my helmet on thank God because I hit my head I feel okay I guess a <laughs> uh, few scratches bruises my foot's a little messed up left foot um yeah but uh it's all good so yeah i remember always being told from some of the uh older foreigner well older it's not nice to say but some of the other uh expats or foreigners here in in and always telling me that it's not a matter of if but when you will get into an accident i mean it's just uh a matter of time here the roads are you know uh not always the cleanest whether it's a rock or coconut a dog uh, children playing in the road but that's how it is not just here in the Philippines uh, other countries are, are like that too and um, driving a motorcycle here is kind of you know it's a risk just like anywhere but yeah it is what it is I'll explain a little bit what happened to uh, Serena's not here by the way she went to do oh, she went to do a uh, market it's not market day, but she went to get some stuff at the market. I can't leave the house for probably another week until uh, this heals up. I can't have sun on it, and it's uh, difficult for me to walk. But I'm going to walk down these steps, guys, to show you uh, what happened, how this all happened, and uh, what our future videos uh, are going to have. So basically, what's going on here now on the property is that our uh, septic tank, because of the... Uh, typhoon that we had and all the the rainy season so in the Philippines uh, the usual rainy season is from July so usually like mid-July to um, February of the next year okay so really you only have a couple of months of actual dry season but everyone's gonna say it's it's changed like if you've been living here in the Philippines you've noticed that in the past couple of years especially since COVID happened um, the weather has like shifted it's almost like it seems extreme to us but maybe it's going back to what it was 100 years ago 200 years ago who knows but um yeah so basically because of all the water we we had here our septic tank is full near full actually what's happening right now when we as you guys know our property here we have uh two bathrooms right we have a, a bathroom on this uh, top floor and we have a, a bathroom on the bottom floor so when we flush our toilet on the first floor uh, it will start backing up on the bottom floor, which is in a pretty sight. And uh, yeah, so yeah, so uh, if you're new to the Philippines or if you know that most septic tanks here are built, <laughs> bear with me, guys. Uh, they're built using uh, pretty much like a, a cement trench, not trench, I guess, a, uh, like a cement box built in the ground. Sorry, I just woke up. I don't know how else to explain it, but it's basically a whole bunch of cinder blocks or cement blocks. Uh, they make a hole in the ground. It's permanent. So once this tank is full, it's just abandoned and you build a new one. And uh, here on the farm, uh, me, Zarina, and my partner, Jesse, uh, really want to make it a bit more natural. Uh, even though we do have cement in some of our areas, uh, we put the cement, by the way, like we use for our steps here and our entrance. That's also to kind of anchor this house. Uh, 
against the mountain. Uh, I'll show you guys in more detail once I get a drone. I'll show you guys really like how steep this mountain is and how the house is like uh, literally dug into the side of the mountain. So basically what we did, uh, like everyone does, you search Google DIY and we found a cool, they're doing this all over the world. It's not here, just here in the Philippines, but basically what it is, is uh, two drums. Um, I didn't know beforehand, but these were actually uh, used oil drums. We'll talk about that later. Uh, so basically what you do with these, um, one is going to be for the solid waste. One is going to be for the um, liquids, your pee, uh, whatever you flush. Um, the solid um, bin is going to be the one that is higher than the liquid bin. I think I'm saying that correctly. Um, so basically what happens is when you flush your toilet, we're going to be running the same thing, uh, like that orange PVC you see over there, it's going to be coming into here with an elbow. Um, once the stool, the solids gets to, uh, the bottom, the liquids, when it gets to a certain height will automatically, uh, go into the second barrel, which is going to be buried lower than the first barrel. Um, they're not going to be too far uh, dug into the ground, so you'll be able to remove these and empty them. No uh, foreign stuff will go in here, though. Uh, no tissue, no toilet paper, nothing. It has to be strictly just um, your waste. So yeah, it's a, a little bit, uh, a little better of a way to uh, dispose of our. <laughs> what a video, eh, guys? Showing you this nasty wound, talking about poop and such, but. Yeah, that's what's going on. I'm going to shoot another video of like when we actually start the work and kind of how that's done and how that's going. So you must wonder, be asking, well, how does this uh, come into me getting this big wound on my leg? Well, actually, again, from being here so long, I try to do my best to uh, budget money just like anyone. I'm not a, a millionaire, so I'm trying to do a lot of the you know, um, not so much the building myself, but a bit more of the running around myself, the errands myself, which is what I did for these. Um, I was basically trying to save $20 and in doing so I got this <laughs> accident. Uh, I didn't know, but these barrels, when you buy them, they're actually used, they're, they're, they're used before. Um, these were used as, um, oil, not used oil, um, motor oil, like car oil, new car oil. Um, so yeah, basically what happened is when we um, went to get this at our construction store we usually go to, uh, we brought him back to the basketball court. You guys always see me going through. And um, one of the guys that I hired to help carry it up here uh, had it over his head. And um, as you see here, we're missing like one of the caps. This one had the caps on it. This one didn't. Uh, I didn't know there were still like a quarter full of oil which I didn't see because when he was uh, bringing the barrels up here I was returning the uh, truck that I rented that multi-cab uh, so yeah basically I dropped off the multi-cab he carried this barrel up in doing so he spilt uh, spilled uh, a majority of that oil onto the ground where I drive my bike on usually drive my bike through and uh, we were in communication or nothing. It was all happening quick. I dropped off the multi-cab, grabbed my dirt bike, raced kind of back home. Um, yeah, got into the basketball court. I was only going like 20 kilometers an hour, but I hit that oil and it just, I slid. And uh, I was in so much shock. I just stopped, looked around, picked up my bike. Uh, my bike's pretty damaged too. Zarina is getting some pictures on that. But uh, yeah, the bike was pretty damaged. I uh, probably have to throw a few thousand pesos into that. It's nothing. It's part of the trip. But yeah, so that's kind of what happened here. Um, why we haven't posted uh, more often. So more uh, regularly. So yeah, that's about it, guys. But on a more positive note, it's a beautiful day out. Um, Zarina's coming back with some goodies. I can't wait. It's Sunday today for us. Uh, we're both off today, which is great. Um, since I'm not going to be able to go around too much here, not supposed to be in the sun, we're going to probably uh, focus more on our future videos back here on the farm and we'll kind of show a bit more. We've realized we've kind of slacked and uh, 
not showed you too much of this area, what's really here, the fruits, the veggies we have, um, all the paths we have up here, the hikes, the views. I'll try to get a bit more of that, talk a bit more of the house, what everything costs us here to build, uh, the other projects we're planning on doing here. So yeah, that's about it guys. And yeah, a little <laughs> update on our Buster. Buster, you're getting big buddy. He's a happy boy now. Yeah. Now he refuses to lie on that little bed we made him. He refuses to even sleep upstairs. He, uh, we had him upstairs for a few nights because of some of the animals that were out here were giving him a scare at night. So we had him upstairs for a few nights and then by like the fourth night he wasn't having it. Didn't want to, uh, didn't want to stay up there. He wanted to be outside like a good dog. So, all right guys, that's about it. So yeah, we should be starting to work on that septic tank uh, this week sometime. So, and actually coming uh, this Tuesday, uh, which I talked about a little bit before, um, how we get our good signal here. So we have, uh, we've had some okay signal before the typhoon, but when the typhoon hit, it really damaged, I guess, some of the towers around our area here. So uh, we actually built our own tower, believe it or not, 30 meter tower. Uh, not too far from here, which we're going to show you on Tuesday. That's some of the work we have to do to improve our internet. So our upload and download time for our YouTubes and just even uh, for work will be uh, easier. I'll wait for Zarina to get back. I'll probably throw in some Netflix now. Even though it's sunny out, I can't be in the sun, which sucks. But, you know, gives me a good break. So yeah, guys, that's about it. It's the way she goes, right? As my uh, Alberta friends would say, it's better than a uh, kick in the nuts, I guess. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, bros. So, thanks everyone for watching again. Again, please throw a comment down here. Whatever else you want to see around the house. If you want to know how, how something was done, how we did it, how we feel. Um, right now, we're still trying to, like, find our niche on YouTube. What people want to see. Uh, so, yeah. Shoot us a like. Shoot us a comment. Don't be shy. I'm a friendly Canadian here. So yeah, guys, thanks a lot for everything. Thanks for all the support, guys. Take care. Peace.